and we're back for the conclusion of this game. Uh huh. You thought I was gonna. You thought I was gonna end it there, wasn't you? Nah, I know you were. Can't laugh from me. But anyway, we are here at the final stretch, where I'm going to get to the anywhere door. I'm freezing these suckers in place because I have no time to waste. I did say I was going to finish this tonight, because it's Friday night. I should finish my work. I should finish this within a week. And believe it or not, yeah, I am playing this game within a week's time. That's a secret to all. That's a secret to all my let's plays. There you go, folks. The secret to all my let's plays is I play under a month. Because, just because, I beat Radia Sankey in under a month. So now I'm beating Trader Mays in under, in under a week. So now we are, we're coming close to the end because we got futuristic bridges. I'm going to get this crystal gun. Freeze! Freeze! And the anywhere door is there and freeze! I remember what I told you about freeze. Having speed in a game like this. Is both good and bad. And oh. First it was the crystal gun. Now it's the crystal jewel. And the anywhere door is right there. But I don't want to pick that sucker up. Oh, I'm fearing... I am fearing it, dreading it, that I may lose a life. So I am taking it very, very easy. Ooh! And they respond so very quickly. So, wow, we are really at the final stretch, amazing, it only took me a week to play this game, and within this same week, damn, truly they are out for blood now. So now, <laughs> I must be very careful. I don't care if I have invincibility. That's not the point. I can always have invincibility. But passing the stages, passing these stages in a timely manner, oh, oh, that's something different altogether. Now, like I said, I am very cautious about stages like these because if you see me lose lives before in this game, and you have speed, There, now, freeze. 
because I'm leaving y'all. I have nothing more to prove than to get through the, get to the anywhere in the door and finish this crap. But it's good though. It's good. I can rack up points really, really fast. So now we are at round 59. Round 59, which is basically, we're back in Bunk World. Yes, the stage in which everybody is out for blood. I was going far too fast for my own good. And you know what they say, overconfidence can be your downfall. So now I can go at my own sweet pace, get these sacred treasures, And there's my anywhere door and half speed. Cause I don't take no chances because this is the last of the last of the last of the last. So let's see. Nothing really big is going on right now at the moment. Okay, come on out. Yeah, there you go. I know y'all want some me. I know. Welcome to your doom. And rise for your deed. door is just calling me. Let me know here. Oh no you don't? I have a pressure friend to save. I don't think so. making close quarters combat here. I am really making this epic. I am making this really epic, folks. That's why I'm dragging this out as long as I can. Okay, exit, where are you? Thank you. And believe me, I am sweating bullets here with this game because I just am. And we are at round 60! We're going to put it into this madness once and for all. Makes you kind of wonder, right? I don't think you can hit this boss. He's just going to chase you. So, there's 
there's no real point in this. All you're going to do is get the last of the of the last the jewels. Make sure you don't do not run into any of these enemies. Because there's no point. There really is no point. And there's a door right there. So, since... I have... I, I have... Put them in slow motion for a bit. I have this. I got this. There! Die! And with that, I am going... To go through the door. And put an end to this crap once and for all. Enough said. So, this is the end of the game! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached the end of this game! This madness! So, these guys, file the... F so, um, Opie and his, and his gang, aka Doraemon in the Japanese version, they finally, finally got through all that crap, and now, yeah, all that took some hard work, and piece of cake, uh, cake sounds nice right about now. <laughs> yes, thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Crater Maze. Out of a count of uh, out of a count of ten, concept, I give it a six. Y y you know, it challenges the mind because you're going, you're basically going through sixty stages of nothing more than going through a maze of different uh, of different areas. So the concept was good. It went by the Pac-Man and Bomberman standards. I respect that. Music was like a, a nine, a, a nine out of ten, because it had this, you know, catchiness. You can't deny the catchiness. The fun factor, I'd say, it desires more. It desires a six. But anyway, with that, with that, um. The gameplay, the music, the concept. The controls were great, you know, they were bottom man standards. They you know, they they were six. Six is being mediocre, so I'm not i I'm not giving it no total score. But if it was a total score. Six, eight, fourteen, fifteen, seven, eight, eight. I don't know. I give it a thirty six out of a forty. That, that's just me. That's just me. Because I like games like this. And I hope you have enjoyed Crater Maze. Because this, this has been fun. It has been enjoyable. So, with that, I've been Pookie Izzy 7 the underdog of the underrated. And I hope you have enjoyed the 200th video special of Crater Maze. Next, I will be doing Cyborg 009 within probably this weekend or next week so i hope you guys stick around for that and as request to big fatty plus because he did he did it and i can only follow suit because he did such a great job on it. mad props to you man so with that i have once again been pookie izzy seven the underdog of the underrated and i wish you a good night a good morrow and i am out